Uh, what is that bottle? It looks kind of alive. Welcome to the microbial sandbox. I add random stuff into this bottle and watch microbes grow every day. Wait, you just toss stuff in there and see what happens. Exactly. Someone just asked me to add lemon juice and orange juice. Some even dare me to add rotted egg and sewage inside. That's disgusting, but I love it. Can I choose the next thing? Only if you're subscribed and you drop a comment. I just subscribed and commented ginger. Then ginger it is. I'll add it into the microbial sandbox tomorrow. Say less. I'm telling the group chat. The microbes are eating good. It seems like the microscopic world has gone through a big change. Hi, welcome to the Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by Adding Random Stuff Every Day series. Today is day 12. There's a strong rotten egg smell coming from the sandbox. Let's check under the microscope to see what's living inside now. I can't believe it. Only a few microorganisms are left. Mold hyphae are everywhere, and even the number of bacteria has dropped significantly. I think it's because of toxins produced by the microorganisms and molds. Even the ciliates are acting strange. This one is just spinning in the same spot. Many other ciliates have become inactive too. Time to dilute the sandbox a bit. Adding salt, rotten banana, toilet water. Let's see what happens tomorrow. It's day 13 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Here's the rotten banana we added yesterday. Disgusting, it's fermenting. Anyway, let's check it out under the microscope. By the way, feel free to comment and tell me what you want me to add next. Under low magnification, it looks like a desert, no moving organisms in sight. But when I zoom in, I can see dead ciliates everywhere. At least some bacteria are still swimming around. Someone suggested adding yeast, but even without it, yeast cells are already everywhere. The mass extinction of ciliates might be due to toxin buildup, oxygen and nutrient depletion by algae and bacteria, and the extra salts I added. Remember, most of the ciliates that appeared so far are freshwater species. To rescue the sandbox, I'm going to dilute it. Maybe I can revive some ciliate cysts. Adding mud, a bit of garlic, cheers, and some soda. Fingers crossed, let's hope it saves the sandbox. I just discovered a new microorganism in my sandbox. It's day 14 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by Adding Random Stuff Every Day series. Remember yesterday? Most of the microorganisms died. I really hope I saved the sandbox. Time to check it out under the microscope. And hey, drop a comment with what you want me to add next. Thank goodness, ciliates are back. Actually, most ciliates can form cysts, kind of like a hibernation mode, to survive harsh conditions. Once things improve, they wake up and become active again. Look at this amoeba. It's flowing around like liquid. Most amoebas are harmless, but some, like acanthamoeba, can occasionally cause serious infections, such as a rare eye infection linked to contact lens use. Today, I'm adding ginger. My toenail, yep. And sparkling water. Hopefully it doesn't wipe out the whole micro crew. See you tomorrow? It's day 15 of the microbial sandbox experiment. Drop a comment and tell me what you want me to add next to grow more microorganisms. Right now, the sandbox is packed with yeast cells. Looks like they're loving all the organic matter in there. Check this out, fungal hyphae branching and spreading across the sample. And see the ciliate? It's stuffed with yeast. Ciliates usually feed on bacteria, but they can also engulf yeast and fungi. Since yeast have tougher cell walls, they might be harder for the ciliates to fully digest. Today I'm adding a piece of paper and a hair. Some bread. See you tomorrow. I just found a new microorganism in the sandbox. It's day 16 of the microbial sandbox. We've added all kinds of stuff over the past two weeks. Let's see what's growing today under the microscope. And as always, let me know in the comments what you want me to add next to help the microbes thrive. Right now, the sandbox is teeming with ciliates. They've totally taken over. They're super active and clearly reproducing. See those two ciliates stuck together? They're in the middle of binary fission, a process where a single cell splits into two identical ones. It's how many single-celled organisms multiply. The sample is also packed with bacteria, forming dense clusters everywhere. And look, I spotted a nematode, but it's not moving. It might already be dead or just in a dormant state. Rice goes in, butter, and yogurt. See you tomorrow. I found a microorganism that looks just like a kidney. It's day 17 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Trust me, the sandbox smells worse than actual poop. I had to spray perfume just to survive in my own room. Anyway, let's see what's going on under the microscope. You can see millions of tiny things moving around. 
If you have trypophobia, this might freak you out. It kind of looks like a swarm of eye floaters. Yep, those are bacteria. You can imagine how dirty it is in there. I spotted this weird microorganism spinning around like it's having the time of its life. I had no idea what it was. Doesn't it look like a tiny kidney? Turns out it's colpota, a type of ciliate. They love places packed with bacteria, basically a buffet for them. Time to add more random stuff. Wet moss, maybe I'll grow a water bear. Crushed eggshell, hopefully no salmonella. And then a piece of cotton. See you tomorrow. The microorganisms look like little kids playing around. It's day 18 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Yesterday, we added moss, eggshell, and cotton. Let's see what's happening under the microscope now. The sandbox has become a paradise for Colpota, a kidney-shaped ciliate. They honestly look like a bunch of kids having fun on a microscopic playground. Colpota come in all sizes. Check out this giant one. See all those granules inside its body? That's probably food. Some granules even appear green. Maybe it's been munching on algae. I can also see other unknown ciliate. Time to throw in more random stuff. First up, river water with mud. Might bring in some wild new microorganisms. Next, McDonald's fries. Can microbes survive on junk food? And finally, a splash of vinegar. Just a little. See you tomorrow? Looks like a new population of smaller microorganisms has taken over the sandbox. Welcome to day 19 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Thanks to all of you, we've hit over 300 subscribers. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment to let me know what you want me to add. Let's build this microbial kingdom together. Under low magnification, the sandbox looks a bit empty, just a few ciliates swimming around. But when we zoom in closer, you can see tiny, fast-moving creatures. They're smaller than the usual ciliates, but still bigger than bacteria. At high magnification, they appear as round, single-celled organisms actively swimming. They might be a type of ciliate too, but I'll need to dig deeper to identify them. Either way, it looks like the sandbox is evolving again. Time to add more stuff. Here's some red wine. Cheers, microorganisms. A spoonful of sugar for extra energy. Elderflower syrup for their wellness. And yes, many of you dared me to add pee. Of course I dare, here it is. Let's see what they grow into. See you tomorrow. This little microorganism is bursting. Hey everyone, it's day 20 of Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. You can see foamy layers forming on the surface. Looks like a strong microbial reaction is happening. Let's check it out under the microscope. I really enjoy doing these experiments with all of you. If you're new here, feel free to comment what we should add next to grow more microbes. Right now, the bacterial density is off the charts. Honestly, it's close to what you'd find in diarrheal poop. The microbes are everywhere. There are even yeast hyphae growing. One of you asked why some bacteria are wriggling around? Great question. Those are spirochetes, likely Treponema species. They're spiral-shaped and love water. You'll find them in sewage, streams, and even in your mouth. Unfortunately, I think we went a little too wild yesterday. Many microbes are bursting. Their insides are leaking out. Looks like we're all microbial murderers now. Some are still intact, but completely still, either dead or in a latent state. Occasionally, I spot algae cells. You can recognize them by their green chlorophyll. Recent additions? A swab from my phone. Red Bull. Let's see if they can handle the caffeine. And a slice of apple. See you tomorrow.